Alberto Fernández went to Congress on Monday to present his plan on how to help the country recover from the pandemic. He spoke about plans to reactivate the economy, industrialize cannabis, and investigate the loans granted to Argentina by the IMF. Para que pongamos fin a las aventuras de hipotecar al país. To put an end to the adventures of indebting a country, it is necessary that doing so isn't free. And they cannot walk around and teach about how they carry out these debts. That's why I've asked to initiate an investigation into those who took part in the biggest fraudulent administration that our memory can recall. The president is hoping to investigate former President Mauricio Macri and some of his closest allies. In 2018, during the government of former President Mauricio Macri, Argentina was granted the largest lending package in the history of the International Monetary Fund, over $40 billion. Argentina and the IMF are currently in the middle of the negotiations of how to pay that loan back. Argentina's economic troubles have been exacerbated by the pandemic, and that's why the current administration of President Alberto Fernández is questioning the legitimacy of that loan that was granted during the previous administration. Argentina is struggling with a rise in poverty, unemployment and a drop in economic activity. The government is also having to do damage control after it emerged that several politicians and their relatives jumped the queue and got vaccinated for COVID-19. This scandal has raised questions about the government's credibility and angered many people who took to the streets last Saturday in protest. But Marcelo Pereira says he voted for Fernández and hopes he will do what's necessary to help millions of Argentinians recover from the ongoing crisis. I voted for him because I believe he can help us. The government gave us some money to survive these past months, but it's not enough. I'm still living on the streets. I'm waiting for a pension that will help me survive. One of the demands by the IMF is to cut down government spending. Fernández center-left Peronist administration faces mid-term elections in October and is unlikely to impose austerity measures that will hurt him politically. But economists say the IMF may prove to be more flexible than in the past. The IMF knows that there is no chance Argentina pays the loan in a timely manner. Restructuring has to happen. The thing is, it has to be in good terms and with an accord. The agreement may happen because of the pandemic, and it may be the IMF which will be more flexible. Argentina is the IMF's largest sovereign borrower, and that's why a deal is crucial to help the country recover. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.